Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing an American Girl dollhouse tour and I've been setting up this dollhouse for a long time now and I've done a bunch of hauls and videos relating to this, so finally I'm uploading it. Um, this is the dollhouse for August 2016 and I'll be probably making future videos with this dollhouse if I update it. So as you can see, my dollhouse is in a closet and once I slide these doors open, you can see what the um, rooms look like. Most of the shelves are only 16 inches high, and as you probably know, my American Girl dolls are 18 inches high, so a lot of times they can only sit in their rooms. So let's go ahead and just get started. So once I open this side, you can see all these levels. So let's start with the first level. This is the kitchen, and over here we have this little um, hutch or like glass um, displayer, and this is actually the mini doll display case, but I don't really use the mini dolls on display, so I'm just using it like that. In the back, I have four signs that I made. The top one says stir it, then it says cook it, bake it, and eat it. Right here, we have um, Grace's apron. Um, on the top of Kit's cook stove, we have some plates, a fake Pepsi bottle, um, some salt and pepper shakers, um, a mini honey, and then some candy that I made. We had these two little storage compartments, and I haven't put anything in there yet. On the actual stove itself, we have some tomatoes in this little pot, and then there's like a little hand um, mixer. Here we have um, a mixing bowl from Grace's set, and then we also have an oven mitt right there. Back there we have some canned um, tomatoes and peaches, and then right here we have um, Kit's birthday cake. Um, and then on the bottom we have these two little um, compartments, and if I open it up there's a fake fireplace there. And then on this side, we just have some storage. We have some peaches and then some strainers in a bowl. Moving on over here, we have two more signs. The top one says a bunch of different like foods and ingredients. And then the bottom one says home sweet home with a bunch of little like home shaped cutouts. On a hook, we have Kit's um, apron. So now I'm going to be moving the closet to the other side. Next on the bottom we have the table which takes up most of the kitchen. Um, I'm not going to go over everything on the table but this table is from Kit's collection and then we have just a bunch of random different um, glasses and I got most of this stuff on the table from thrift stores or flea markets. And then we just had the chairs and this tablecloth we found at a thrift store as well. On the back, I have these two signs that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it says, one says, you are my sunshine. And the other one says, love you to the moon and back. And over here, it obviously isn't supposed to belong in the kitchen. But this is the only place it will fit. It's the wardrobe. And then we have a bunch of like food signs from Grace's collection. And we have a hat and some earrings. So that is it for the first level. Moving up one is the entertainment room or like the movie room. So here we have the entertainment set with the TV and all of its accessories. And the TV actually does turn on. So then we have the DVD player. And here we have this little area rug and it's actually just a cloth doily. Here we have a American Girl couch with two pillows and then this little um, food stand with these uh, racer foods. Um, back here I just had this sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I just put this thing in there that says American Girl. Down here this is from an old Our Generation set but it's like a stereo and two CDs. Over there I made these signs. The top one says movie night and then it says it's time to watch Netflix and the last one says sit back and relax. Now back here I haven't done anything with this yet, but I'm hoping to find like um, movie themed accessories that I can put in this little shelf. So now moving on to the next room. This next room is the first bedroom. It's Kit and Ruthie's bedroom and I really like their bedroom. 
So starting over here against these uh, this wall, I have this wooden letter that I painted pink for Kit, and another wooden letter R that I painted uh, green for Ruthie. Then we have Kit's old bed, and that's the trundle bed. So on this side, Ruthie sleeps, and on this side, we have where Kit sleeps, and we have both of their mini dolls, and then just a pillow that comes to the set. Here we have a zoom zoom and another zoom zoom right here. Down below the bed we have Kit slippers and Ruthie slippers. Back here we have these posters that I also made. The top one says sisters by chance, friends by choice. And the middle one says friends are like stars and you don't always see them but you know that they're here. And the last one says two peas in a pod. And then I have this little um, cork board that I turned into like an American girl um, little bulletin board. Over here we have Kit's desk. Um, hanging from it we have this little um, hat and we have a backpack. On the desk we have a Kit's typewriter and then just someone's iPhone. Then this desk also is uh, can close. Down here we just have this random toy Furby. And these two girls are friends in the book series, but I just have them as sisters. Alright, that's everything for this second level. Now, moving up, we have probably my favorite room in the house. This is Audrey's room, and she's my lookalike doll. I'm totally in love with this room, so let's get started. Over here, we just have some pictures that I took of her, different Polaroids. And then we have these mini paper clips that are clothespins that I got at Target. Her bed is an Our Generation bed. Um, I really like Grumpy Cat and so does Audrey. So she has this mini um, Grumpy Cat plush. From the Our Generation bed set, it's this kitten pillow. Then I just got this from the dollar store. It's this like fluffy pillow type thing. Over here we have another Grumpy Cat that I got from Hobby Lobby. That fluffy pillow on the back is from the Our Generation set. We have Audrey's mini doll, which is Nelly, and then we have this little stuffed kitten. And in the back, there's a little like poster of a kitten. Now moving on, again we have some more posters. This one says "Keep Calm and Love Cats," and then again, it's Grumpy Cat said, "I had fun once; it was awful." And the last one also says "Keep Calm and Love Cats." I got this little end table type thing from Hobby Lobby and it is totally adorable. Um, I'm in love with this. I don't know what you would use this like in the like if you weren't using it for doll purposes but this works perfect in my dollhouse. On here we have this little flower vase and we have some jewelry boxes with her earrings. Next we have some our generation sunglasses and then just a mini um, replica of the Eiffel Tower. Then we have her iPhone. And this drawer, I have um, some of her magazines. In this middle drawer, I have some of her books. And in the last drawer, I haven't found anything to put in there yet. Then we have four zoom zooms down here. Moving on, I have another wooden letter. It's the letter A for Audrey, and I painted it pink. Then we have her kitten butterscotch, and she's sitting on an old Art Generation pillow. Then we have a tennis racket with a tennis ball and a soccer ball because those are the sports she plays. We have this little area rug that my grandma knitted. Over here we have this little, um, like, get ready station. This is kind of where she brushes her teeth and stuff. I haven't really put anything in the storage. But we have some, like, lotions. We have an old-fashioned lamp. We have a mini Vaseline um, container. We have this cat from The Secret Life of Pets, and then we also have a frame picture of all of her sisters, and then we have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Up top, we have this fake candle, we have a little band-aid, and then just this ceramic frog. So that is about everything for Audrey's room. Now going across, we have Hazel's room. So this is Hazel's room. And I really also love Hazel's room. As you can tell, all the girls' rooms is um, themed by color, so Hazel's room is yellow themed. Here we have her bed that I actually made from putting a pillowcase around American Girl box, and then just my mom made this blanket. 
We have this gift card holder, but I'm using it as a pillow. I have this emoji pillow from McDonald's and then just this mini pillow from the Our Generation set. Over here we have her regular pillow, which is just blue, and her mini doll, which is Samantha. Down here we have some bunny slippers from an old Our Generation set as well. Over there we have her toy bin, and it's just a bunch of random toys, and this is actually just a doll lightsaber that I made. Up here there's a bunch of different posters that I also made. This one says fly free with the butterfly on it. This one says you're one in a minion. This one says be beautiful and the last one says never give up. Now over here we have this little dresser type thing and I actually painted this myself so it's not the best paint job but I got this um, unpainted little dresser type thing from Hobby Lobby. And then I covered it in Mod Podge when I was done to give it a nice glossy seal. Up top we have some Calco Critters. And then we have just her random finger brace. And then we just have this Legoland um, little trinket. I have not put anything in the drawers yet. But maybe I'll just put some clothes or socks. Here I have a blank, an area rug that I actually knitted. Over there we have another wooden letter... H that I painted yellow for Hazel and then we have this wig bin that I put one of her pu purses in and then a hairbrush for her mini doll. Over here we just kind of have this little table. Underneath we have all of her boots because Hazel really likes boots. Then we have two Zoom Zooms, um, Winnie the Pooh and Snow White. Then we have a book and then some our generation sunglasses then we have another cloth doily and on top of that we have kit's purse but she's just using it so up here we also have an, some more mini clothespins and i just took some polaroids of her and then that's a note for my grandma so this is hazel's room all right the very last room we have is sophia's room and her room is definitely pretty high up, so I'm just going to be standing on a stool. So first off, we have um, her bed. And again, I made this from a pillowcase um, surrounding an American Girl box. And then we have just this random blanket that I think we got from a farmer's market. Over here, we have her pillow with her mini doll, Addie. Then we have another wooden letter S that I painted purple. Down here we have her slippers. Over here we have Anna and Elsa zoom zooms on this little table just like Hazel's. Um, then under here we have some, we have this little mini chest and when I open it, it's just a little toy box. Sorry for the bad lighting. But it's just her little toy box with all her little toys. Um, also on this little table we have another cloth doily type thing. We have her iPhone. And then we have some more of these posters. This one says I heart dogs. Purple is my color and then just a picture of a dog. Over here we have this little jewelry box that I had and I took out all the drawers. So I use it as a little shelf. So then I just have this overnight bag, a book, and some reading glasses, just some little toys and trinkets. And then we also have some more Zoom Zooms. Over here, Sophia is a really big American Girl fan. So we have a brand new American Girl doll, which is Kirsten. And then we have um, another bag and then a little or a bag with a book in it. Then we have Coconut, um, which is Sophia's dog, um, and he's just sitting on a pillow, and that pillow actually matches the design on her bed. So, I really like every single room in this dollhouse. And then above, we just have some storage, um, and then the American Girl wheelchair is right there, and then my camera, and then some clothes are in there, and then all the Zoom Zooms are in there. And then we just had the mini doll boxes way up there. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this dollhouse tour. I spent a lot of time on this, and I really liked how it turned out. Sorry for the bad lighting in Sophia's room. 
But um, I hope you guys like it. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, bye.